Hello everyone. So in this video we will talk about report actions. Report actions are basically uh, used for triggering the printing of a report. So in the previous video we talked about the window actions. So we created a wizard for that. So now what we are going to do is that we will create a report for this data. So what we need are the customer details and the expected date, a range of expected date. So in the last video you have seen I have created a function for this button which basically gave a few. So now what we are going to do is that we will filter the data to show in the report and we will call the report action there I will show you that so first we will write this function for the button so first let's create some valves for that so now we will filter the sale orders with the data that was entered in the wizard. So let's take sale.order. Dot search. So here you can see the fields, partner ID, date start and date end. We will take these fields. Partner ID equal to partner ID root ID. The next condition will be expected date greater than or equal to set the date start. So which is basically greater than or equal to this date and the next condition will be less than or equal to this date so that we get the all the data between these two dates. So here the condition will be less than or equal to and date end okay so by this condition we have all the sale orders now we will iterate through that sale order and append the values so he, here we will be taking the values we need to show in the report so I, I will be taking the the quotation number the expected date the total amount and the salesman so let us input those values the quotation number is name expected date is expected date and this is user id amount total so those data we will append it to it so 
what it would mean. expected date dot date since it is in date time format we will convert it into date then the amount total will be order dot amount total and the sales person we will take the name of the salesperson dot name so these are the data within the sale order now we also need to append the data the rest of the data that is the customer's name and the dates so we'll do that do, do that so we'll give the ids to be self dot ids model Self dot underscore name. Vals will be the vals we appended above. Now the date start and date end. Will be self dot. start and date end load survey self load date end let's also put the dot date so we only get the date instead of date time We get the name of the salesman, I mean the customer. Okay, so now we have the data to be appended from the sale order module. Now, what we need to do is that we need to create a report action so let us do that we will create a record for that What I do will be and here the model of this record will be IR dot actions dot report. And now within this record the fields will be name give a name you like and uh, 
the model will be the next field so the model will be the model from which you are taking the data for the report so here this model is sale dot order so we will put that model the next field is called report type so report types are basically two which is cube pdf and html so right now i'm making a pdf report next will be the report name so the report name will be the modules name so report dot the template so here we already have the data with us so we make a template for that so we will I, I have already made a template for it so just paste it there this has all the values that was computed here in this function basically name the date amount and sales person we just loop the vars I created this files and take the values we need and just formatted it, it in a template so this template as a name sale dot a sale underscore report underscore template so we will take that name and put it here okay so now we have created a action a report action for that so now what we do is that we come back to the wizard and return the report action basically return self dot env dot ref name of the module dot the name of the action since we are calling the action from here dot report action and inside that we will put in self comma data equal to data so that the data we collected here will be passed through here and this action will be called and this action is called the template will be called and the report will be printed so let us try it out restart the server let's go and upgrade the module okay, now let us select a customer select two dates I'm selecting number 1, 2, December 31, 2 months. Okay, we have an error here, let's see. It's not right, 25. 
because the field name was incorrect let us try that again so let us open it and you will see the data between the start date and the end date and the customer and all the sales sorry there is an error here you will also correct that the Here this will be user id not partner id because uh, the partner id is the customer and you salesperson is the user id now we will try that again putting the start and end date as you can see the customer this came and the person who sold so this is how you make a report with the help of a report action thank you If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.